Hello and welcome back to the Money Mentor channel where today we're going to look at the share price forecast of Hilka Pharmaceuticals, unsurprisingly a pharmaceutical company in the UK with a market cap of 4.7 billion, enterprise value of 5.1, meaning they've, meaning they've got three or four hundred million pounds of debt on the books. Um, so at the lower end of the FTSE 100 towards the, uh, the bottom decile and the Stockopedia stock rank metric is uh, showing 59 over here. If you want to try Stockopedia out yourself, click on the Stockopedia banner as and when it appears in the top right hand page um, and you can have two weeks free trial uh, to uh, try it out and see how you get on with it. So what they're saying here is uh, not a particularly good, good uh, group all around by their own metric. So uh, we can take a look at the graph uh, and see generally for the last year it's most definitely been on a downwards trajectory overall so first half of the year upwards second half downwards and actually tipped just below the just below the 2000 level there so we started the year at about 2300 and we're finishing here just about 20 um, so it's a downward trend uh, the 52 week high shows we are 24 and a half percent off so it's lost a quarter of its value during that period and in fact all of that happened in the second half of the uh, the year 21. Uh, looking at the value metrics, um, we've got a price earnings ratio of 12.8, which is good for the industry, uh, average for the market, and a dividend yield of just about 2%, which is uh, good for the industry, not so good for the market. So moving down to the quality metrics, we can see actually it's a very good quality business, although it's not uh, flagged high enough to uh, to rate Stockopedia as a buy, but the return on capital and equity are 20 and 22 respectively, and a very good, um, decent looking operating margin of just under 27%, so good for the market and the industry. Health trend F score measure of six, so that's about average, uh, nothing, nothing overly strong about it, but not uh, far enough down the scale to cause us any concerns. Let's take a quick look at the revenue. Uh, revenue, nice um, upward trend in graph, not impacted in any way by COVID in 2020 on that basis. But let's take a look and see what the net profits should suggested. Uh, other than the dip in 2017, net profits have been fairly stable. It looks like 2020 is down um, on other years. So 486, 431, then 467. So it's beginning to pick up uh, a little bit for its profits. So that's uh, good news and it's recovered from COVID. Dividends payment, it's a low low yielding stock, so under 2% all the way along here. But what you can see is the dividend cover comfortably over three, so they can easily pay their dividend yield um, and have plenty left over for further acquisitions, storing and saving cash, or maybe paying some debt down. Uh, taking a look at that debt, we've got debt of 586 million um, on the books at the moment. And the average shares in issue are two three eight so actually they are not going up they're coming down slightly so it's good your shares are not being diluted by further issuances um, and in fact it looks like there's a there was historically or certainly in 2020 a bit of a share buyback program which is great news it gives you a little bit more earnings per share uh, only 12 brokers covering uh, this business although they do have a consensus of up there by a strong buy so that's uh, that's quite good the Analyst forecast for price wise $37, which converts into a 34% uplift. So there's a third third higher to go for Hilka Pharmaceuticals. So do you um, believe there's a third higher to go? Or would you continue, continue or uh, even consider investing in Hilka, considering the current downward trend they've got at the moment? Uh, do let us know in the comments. And as always, we will write back and um, let, uh, give you feedback as soon as we can. Uh, failing that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do and we will uh, let you um, notify you as and when we release new videos. Okay, thanks as always for watching and listening.